Hello, my friends. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Okay, today, chapter eight, places in town. But first, remember, questions with the verb to be, we put the verb to be in the front. For example, in the affirmative, you are a good cook. We have the verb to be here, are. In the negative, you are not a good cook. And in the question, we put the verb to be in the front. Now, I say, and you respond, are you a good cook? Very good. And remember, questions with other verbs, with like, with love, with eat, with drink, with work, with play. We put do or does in the front. For example, in the affirmative, you read the newspaper. In the negative, you don't read the newspaper. And in the question, we put do in the front. Now I say, and you respond, do you read the newspaper? Very good. Okay, now I say, and you listen. Hi, I'm Tom. I'm 64. I'm from California. I'm an actor. I acted in many movies, but my most famous movie is Forrest Gump. I have four kids. My wife Rita is from Greece, and our family always goes to Greece on vacation. I am a citizen of both the United States and Greece. Question number one, who is his wife? His wife is Rita. Question number two, how many kids does he have? He has four kids, very good. Question number three, what does he do? He is an actor, good. And question number four, what is his most famous movie? His most famous movie is Forrest Gump. Very good. Citizen. Citizen in Portuguese is cidadão. Okay, now what can you see here? Give me five things. You have ten seconds. Boom. You can see the sky, you can see clouds, you can see the sun, you can see mountains, you can see a tree, you can see rocks, you can see a river, you can see water, yes, you can see many things. This is a photo of the Grand Canyon in Arizona, the United States. It's very beautiful. Okay, now, singular and plural. For example, in the singular, we have, what's this? It's a book. Here, in the plural, what are these? Quesauesis, they're books. All right, now, what's this, my friends? It's a window. Yes, it's a window. And what's this? It's a chair, yes. Now, what are these? It's plural. They're erasers. Yes, they're erasers. And what's this? It's a laptop. Yes, it's a laptop. And what's this? It's a door. And what are these? They're pens. Yes, they're pens. And what are these? They're notebooks, yes, they're notebooks. Okay, now grammar for today, verb to be, simple past, very, very easy. Okay, the verb to be in the simple past, in the affirmative, I say and you repeat, I was. You were. She was. We were. They were. Very good, my friends. Okay, now, simple past of be in the negative. I say, you repeat. I wasn't. You weren't. She wasn't. We weren't. 
They weren't. Very good, my friends. Okay, now, simple past of the verb to be. This is the format. Now, this is the format of the simple present, and this is the format of the simple past. In the affirmative, in the simple present, he is happy. In the past, he was happy. In the negative, in the present, he isn't happy. In the past, in the negative, he wasn't happy. And in the question, in the present, we put the verb to be in the front. Is he happy? And in the simple past, we put the verb to be in the front again. Was he happy? Okay, now vocabulary for today. We have next to, for example, the green ball is next to the box. Next to, what is next to in Portuguese? Next to is ao lado, next to. In front of, for example, the green ball is in front of the box. What is in front of in Portuguese? In front of is na frente, in front of. Behind, for example, the green ball is behind the box. What is behind in Portuguese? Behind is atrás, behind. And across from, for example, the shop is across from the movie theater. Or the movie theater is across from the shop. Across from means the other side of the street. Now, otro lado of the street. Across from. Okay, now, busy. Busy is with a lot of movement. For example, we can say Times Square in New York City is very busy. Busy in Portuguese is movimentado. Busy is also ocupado. So busy in Portuguese is movimentado or ocupado. A seat. Seats are chairs in a car, an airplane, a bus, or a public place. A seat in Portuguese is um assento. A seat. Yarn. Yarn is used to make clothes. Yarn in Portuguese is fio. A blanket. Blankets are used in bed. This is a blanket. He is using a blanket and she is using a blanket. Blanket in Portuguese is um cobertor. A blanket. A ferry. A ferry is a boat used for transportation. These are all photos of ferries. Bye-bye, my friends. That's it. See you soon.